Hi pearls, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are doing something kind of special. Oh, well, today is my birthday, so I wanted to do something a bit different, I guess, to like celebrate it sort of. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making a GFX, but I'm only gonna be allowing myself to use 14 items. I'm turning 14, which is why I chose that number. A few months ago in a Q&A, I said I wasn't gonna say my age. That was a lie. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna explain this a bit more. So basically I have this room and it's just like walls, floor, and window. And this does not count. Okay, that curtain counts as an object but like the walls won't count they're just a foundation i guess also my avatar doesn't count so i can choose any other 14 things that i want to include in this gfx but that's it i think i want to do something birthday related so first of all i want to get like a birthday hat fun fact actually really really sad fact <laughs> i've never worn a birthday hat in real life i don't know like they look cute but they also kind of seem uncomfortable i don't know i think though i want to go for this one okay this is cute let's go for this one i feel like i always see birthday hats in like shows and oh this is cute oh okay I don't have anyone to sit at the table with me. Actually, you know what? Maybe my dog can sit there. So that is three objects. So well, three more. So then that'd be four total. Obviously we need a cake. And I'm gonna go for the blue cake because blue is my favorite color. This one is quite fancy though, but it kind of seems like a wedding cake almost. I'm definitely not getting married anytime soon. So that is the fifth object. The walls are definitely very empty. So maybe we add like a fireplace. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna go for a bookshelf. I'm not sure if I should be counting each of the books as like their own item, but I kind of don't want to because I don't really feel like counting them all. So we're just gonna say this is one object. So that is our sixth item and maybe we'll just add like two of them that is the next object this is super cute okay i will definitely add this let me know when your birthday is is it soon is it like has it happened recently is it in a long time let me know because i don't know i'm interested <laughs> and also okay this is the question of the day if it like was your birthday like tomorrow what would be like your dream birthday gift like if you could get anything you want would you get a car would you get a mansion would you get a pet i really want another dog so bad because Dogs are so amazing, but unfortunately my current dog, she doesn't like other dogs, so unfortunately we can't get one, but it's okay though, because I still love the dog that I have. Though when I'm older, you guys have probably heard of like a crazy cat lady or whatever, I'm definitely going to be like a crazy dog lady, <laughs> so I'm going to be the crazy dog lady who has like 10 dogs. Why isn't this changing color? We could probably just fix that in Blender. Okay, I'm getting some inspo. I'm using one of my favorite model creators, Sablo. Oh, maybe we get a couch instead of a table, because that would give us more objects too. So we're going to go ahead and take this cute cute and then i'm also gonna steal her teddy bear look at how cute this teddy bear is oh my gosh he's so precious literally how do you find all this cute stuff what do you search up to get all this cute clutter because it's so adorable Ooh, pillows so that is like two more things so now we can choose four more items and that's it just a cute stack of books yes okay i like this one this was very cute so let's go ahead and put this down here i believe that is 12 items i'm not at this plant because look at it i mean how would you not want this plant and then lastly what are we gonna add a dun 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 this plant too i'm a huge planty person and then we're gonna export it but let's just go ahead and export this as 14 objects i'm gonna load in all of my characters mesh and everything and then i'll go back to you but i'm not gonna like show the boring part because that's boring and no one wants to see that i'll be back in a okay second. so i am back i just set everything up now we're gonna start posing everything so i have my rig imported but well, i just want to do a very simple pose because i don't really know like what other pose i would be doing and also okay so i'm filming this on february 6th which is my birthday and i want to get it uploaded on february 6th too but i feel like it's getting kind of late <laughs> it's 3 p.m right now and i still have to edit everything hopefully i can get out on time but anyways so i'm gonna have her next to the teddy bear because the teddy bear is so cute and then we can put the dog on the other side there's good i think and then let's go ahead and put the cake on her lap okay i just sized it down a bit i think that will be good i don't want it to be too big because then it won't really fit on her lap well okay so i think the pose looks good but now her arm is literally going through the teddy bear which i don't think is ideal so let me go ahead and go with that and then we can rotate this over as well i don't really know what we're gonna do with her other arm but we'll figure it out i think though it'll be a good start to just put her head on her body the head is on but let's go ahead and add on her hat i think i'll have her other arm just petting her dog it looks cute and then let's go ahead and get the doggo over here also in the comments let me know do you guys enjoy seeing tutorials or do you guys prefer to see more like challenge -y type videos just because obviously i'm making content for you guys to enjoy so i want to know what you guys enjoy the most okay i'm gonna go ahead and then bend her wrist and honestly i think that's all we need to do for the posing which is super simple and then the last thing i want to do is paint some stuff so let's go ahead and paint these clouds 
Actually, let's keep them white. Yes, yeah, so that's super cute. This one can stay white though. Let's just go ahead and make it a bit brighter. Oh, also, Bloxburg updated this morning. So what do you guys think of the update? Uh, I like it. Modern isn't necessarily like my style, so I don't know if I'll use all of like the new furniture sets, but I think they are super cool. Curtain details are nice. All right, let's go ahead and add a camera, and I'm gonna leave it in the rectangular angle so that I can see everything, I guess. Let's go ahead and move the cloud down. And you also can't really see this flower over here, so I'm gonna move the camera over so you can see the flowers because they're really cute. And then I think, honestly, that's all we need to do. So let's go to rendered and just see how this looks. Set this to transparent, and I think this this looks pretty good so i'm gonna go ahead and render this and then i will show you what it finally looks like so i'll be back in a minute here is the final jfx i think it came out really cute and honestly the items don't look that limited so i think we did a pretty good job overall and if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up i'd really appreciate that and with everything being said i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and i will talk to you all soon bye pearls